Hi, it's GoGo Media Girl, and I'm at a dance studio with um, Golda, Lacida, Lacady, <laughs> and Sina. Um, so they're dancers. So, um, what skills do you need when you're a dancer? I'm gonna let oh, yeah, say it. All right. Uh, basically, just training, right? So depending on what dance type you want to do and just go to a studio unless you want to go to an art school then you can get the better training there <laughs> yeah pretty much the same it's also training in whatever style that you want to obviously pursue in your career and yeah whether it's whether you go to an actual dance school from primary school high school through to varsity or whether you just go to dance classes which you do your exams and so forth yeah anything to add on yeah, um, besides the training, I think it's also important to have a passion for the style. But you can get training formally, or you can join crews, or you can, you know what I mean, anything like that. But the passion for it, I think, is also important. Um, so, any tips on how to, like, um, if you're becoming a dancer, any tips on how to get out there? How to get out there, I'd say, well, from my side, I'd say that it's just, you just got to keep on pushing, you know. You take on the correct gigs, um, concert shows, you work towards it, and also that's where the training comes and the passion for comes because I mean if you're gonna get offered a show that pays so much and so much and you decline because you're like oh no I'm just lazy then it's 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 not worth it you know you've got to go out there yourself you've got to go to auditions you've got to go and put yourself out there by means of either talking about it getting radio interviews TV experience working with artists DJs with anyone big that's how you get your style your talent out there in the world yeah yeah, I definitely agree. Basically, networking. That's all you need yeah. to do is the best thing. <laughs> yeah, I agree with the networking <laughs> and the classes. And um, I think also it's important to do as many workshop and as many, ma workshops and as many classes as you can, as many auditions as you can, and just expose yourself to lots of different styles so that you get the experience you need. Okay. Talk some more about networking, like going to... About? Like networking. Networking. Sadie, you want to start with that? <laughs> <laughs> um, networking. So basically, you need to find out where all like the parties or the events are in terms of if it relates to the industry you want to be in. So if there's like a launch party for a... I don't know, for a crew or something, then you must go there, then you can meet people there, then they, then you know that there's actually dancers there. And if it's for like a TV show, you know there's industry people, TV industry people, then you can just meet them, say, hey, this is what, what are you up to, what am I doing, you know, just tell them what you're up to. And if you're interested, then just swap digits or numbers, emails, whatever, and you meet up and you can talk if they allow it. If they don't, you move on <laughs> to the next person. <laughs> Too. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think also with networking, you have to like overcome the shyness and make sure you get as many contacts as you can. You never leave a place without making sure you meet at least one person who can do something good for you. And that could be from a dancer to someone important, like an exec or editor or whatever. But I think you can start small and when you meet people at workshops and at classes, you never know who knows people out there. So you just make sure you keep people in your books and keep their numbers and make sure you keep in touch yeah yeah and uh, networking also with other dancers from across the world whether it's in South Africa different countries and even at competitions whatever whether it's a hip-hop competition contemporary or anything also network with them because if they ever get told about a certain show or gig then they can be like listen yeah I have the perfect dance I know how they dance I know this style and therefore they can recommend you and yeah and if all else fails, research. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Does it seem like competition? Like when you're doing with guys, with the dancing and stuff? What do you mean? Are you talking about like competition with the guys and girls? Are you talking about that type of competition? Yeah, it could be, or just, you know, or like a normal dancing competition? No, just, oh. just like being in the industry. You know, yeah. You're talking about networking, for example. Maybe there's guys you have to deal with networking, so what's your, you know, 
strategies or yeah. tips? Or I don't understand. Or more experiences. I'm not sure if I'm understanding it correctly, but I think when approaching people networking wise you also as much as you want to get as much as you can from them you also want to keep it short and sweet and quick because nobody wants to sit there and listen for days at this um, it's also you can do video reels of yourself and record yourself doing what you do best so that when you see somebody who could give you an opportunity you just hand it to them and on there's your contact details what you do a video of yourself so you don't have to sit there talking for days and days and days yeah uh, you <laughs> um, I don't really understand the question, but from what I think I understand, as uh, competition between just the people in the industry in general, there will be a lot of competition because people um, they wanna everyone wants a job, everyone wants to work, so it's a bit tough getting information about stuff as well because then they feel that um, that's less jobs for them. So it's just I don't know how you just. Need to, I don't know how you do it, <laughs> but I guess you just just be polite about it. And if they don't want to help you, like I said, just move on to the next. You'll find someone that will help you at the end of the day. You can also rise above that by making sure whatever you do best, you know about it full on, so yeah. that no one can take that away from you. Yeah. If you're a good presenter or if you're a good dancer, you make sure you practice it. You make sure you research it, so that no matter who's being competitive or nasty, they can't take what you know away from you, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, and I also think in South Africa, like with competition with, with say now, our industry of dancers and so forth, um, it is difficult because there's only a really good selected amount of dancers in South Africa that are trained, that are good at what they do, whatever style it is. I mean, overseas, um, like in New York and so forth, they they look at dancing as like a proper job. Like they like that country like worships dance. In South Africa, it's very da it's very dance. It's very difficult for us to get the point across that listen here, yeah, we are dancers. It's a sport. This is also a lifestyle. We are also artists of exactly. So in the, in the like whole competitiveness against dancers, like you'll get some of those dancers that will hear of certain gigs and they not willing to share because they want the work all to themselves and then you get the dancers that are willing to share and be like I'm opening the doors for you other dancers that's just where you got to stay humble as much as you're whether you're a big dancer whether you're a small dancer or known or not known but you've just got to keep it humble and you know just work and yeah competition's good it's mm -hmm. very very good <laughs> good or bad you can make it positive so um any tips if somebody wants to be a dancer like or s tips or skills, um, like reading and writing? Uh, well, I'd say from a dancer's point of view, um, tips is get training, like get like a proper training. I'm not saying go and do ballet and become a ballet dancer. I'm saying get like proper formal training so that you're versatile in whatever styles. I mean, you, go, you don't want to train for one style and then when you get to like auditions for something and then it's your total opposite different style and then you're like, oh my gosh, I can't do this. For you to feel comfortable and to get forward in life, do training, go through it, whether you only do a few exams or even if you just go to open classes, just get that formal training behind you so that you are versatile in different styles and then you'll get a lot further. Any skills like reading? Really oh, oh, anything? for dancing, uh, I'd say obviously your body, your bones, your muscles, obviously so that you don't hurt yourself when you're dancing and you know what's going on in your actual physical body. and. People, most people do study after high school for dance as a subject, so you go through all the theory and then you do the practicals. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You don't think you don't have to study, like still study <laughs> after high school, don't not study. But yeah, I think, yeah, that's pretty much it. You guys kind of manage yourselves, I mean, our business skills go out. That's what I'm yeah. I think also besides um, the dance training, a lot of dancers, if you're going to make a living out of it, I think a lot of dancers don't understand that you have to have the business side of it as well because when you're making a living off of anything, you're going to deal with contracts, you're going to deal with money, you're going to deal with... And the more you don't know about those things, the easier it is for people in the industry to take advantage of you or not pay you correctly. Or So besides actually getting on the floor and jamming, you need to make sure you can handle your, your money, your finances, your and know what you deserve as payment and yeah
just make sure you have a business mind. I agree. <laughs> um, okay, that was Golda Lisa. <laughs> Lucidi <laughs> and Sina. Um, go, go, meaty girl. <laughs>